probably drink once or twice, like going out to drink once or twice a week. I worked at a bar here actually on the Uvi campus and um, I was a bartender there and then eventually was manager of that bar. So during that time, um, drinks were free generally, so I drank pretty much on a daily basis. Sometimes when you go out to drink, I think the reason is courage. Um, like for instance, if I go out on the weekends, I usually go out dancing and it's a lot easier to dance and forget yourself if you drink. And in fact, some people call it liquid courage because once you've drank enough, you don't care if you look silly, you don't care how late it is or how long you've been awake. So. I think sometimes when you mix drinking with an event that you're kind of nervous about, you do it so that you won't be scared. Working at the bar, I saw a lot of situations where people did crazy stuff that they would not normally do uh, when they were sober. So yeah, people definitely act differently when they're drunk. Also in my family, like a lot of the adults drink, so it's kind of like a rite of passage. Now I can sit with my aunts and uncles and have a beer and it's more fun. It's, it's almost like they think I'm more of an adult because I can sit with them and drink. So that's the most rewarding time that I drink. And you don't drink that much around family because it's not, the point is not to get crazy. It's to show that you can control yourself and you're an adult now. This culture age of 21, it does kind of denote a different stage of your life. And I think alcohol has a lot of um, cultural implications to that. Um, but I think personally, the greater rite of passage is when you can learn to really control that and not do it in an irresponsible manner. I think drinking and the activity of itself is not what's going to bring you happiness or joy. I think it's going to have to be things that are outside of that. And so, I mean, the people that I, I did see it, that at least find. Um, some meaning to it uh, was again I think the relationships that they would have with people um, in which they would drink together with uh, whether it be friends or family or fraternity or you know whatever groups that you had down here. On a larger scale I think that Americans supposedly love beer right and that's something that we all can unify on if you're watching football you're drinking beer and that's how you know you're American. Um, also, on a smaller level, when you go out with your friends and you're drinking, that is what unifies you. Like in a workplace cultural situation where uh, certain people will feel some type of um, solidarity, getting together maybe like on a Friday afternoon, happy, happy hour after work and having a couple drinks with each other, I think that does build some um, some unity within that group, even in a working uh, environment. But with regards to like deep unity, I don't think drinking is necessarily the issue. I think it's more um, getting to know people as people, caring about what they care about, um, caring about them as people, and just um, building unity through that. So I think it's far deeper than just, just drinking. My senior year or so in college, that's when I um, in a sense changed my worldview, so I became Christian at that point in college. I don't believe, um, at least in a religious sense, that drinking is necessarily wrong, um, but I definitely decided that living in a irresponsible way was wrong. There's a whole atmosphere that's being created at a bar, and it includes everybody joining in in the drinking, and I think Maybe that's part of why drinking is joyful, is because everybody's doing it, everybody knows the consequences, everybody knows the excitement, and everybody's going to do it together. Where I found my joy is not through drinking. Um, it's quite obviously, as I said previously, through the relationships that I've built in my family, friends, and most importantly, my faith uh, with regards to God. For me, I really believe, um, you know, my belief in God is what has uh, brought me uh, more long-term lasting joy.